All right, this is going to be a test for the capabilities of a RIMS tube to produce 170 degree sparge water from the tap. Uh, I filled this pot with cold water from the sink. I don't have a way of adapting the sink to directly to the hose right now, so I just went ahead and filled this pot up. It is sitting at right about 50 degrees. Uh, that's just where it ended up. We're discharging straight into the sink full of dirty dishes. So it's not recirculating at all. This is just a pass, uh, one pass test. See if we can run it through the system and hit 170 degrees. It's a pretty large uh, temperature differential to hit, so we're going to have to choke down the flow of this pump quite a bit. I'm going to power on the pump and then power on the uh, PID controller. As you can see the light comes on. It's on 100%. Right now it's outputting 57, 58, 59, 60. Our supply was 50 degrees. So we've got a 13, 13 degree temperature differential now. I'm going to choke the valve down to halfway, eyeball halfway, and uh, see what that does to the temperature differential. seem to have affected it much. We've got about a 20 degree differential now, almost. Choke it down again until it's pretty close. And there it's climbing significantly. 85, that's a 35 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, 60 degree, Still climbing. See what our flow rate is. It's a uh, pretty dismal flow rate, but uh, maybe adequate for sparging. It's pulsing because I think it's boiling a little in the tube, and we're only hitting about 132, 133. It's climbing. Slowly. Eight. So we hit 140. That's a 90 degree temperature differential from our supply through the system. We're up to 96 degree differential now. Our flow rate has gone to uh, just burping, basically, because of the uh, steaming in the tube. So it's not really producing a steady rate. By rotating the tube up like that, though, it seems to have smoothed out. I think it just had a bubble of steam trapped in there, so if I keep my outputs vertical, looks like it uh, helps with the flow rate. My uh, output now, 157. Oh, 168, 165. Wow. I think we're close. 159, it dropped back down. 160. Maybe it was the issue with the steam being trapped that, uh, that. Let me try and choke this down just a hair more. I don't want to close it off, but uh, choking it down to just a trickle. Not hardly much of anything is coming out there. <clears throat> and we've overshot. So, I want to open this up just a hair. Seems to get real finicky right at that cutoff point there, so... Yeah, that, that cracking open the valve there dropped it way back down. Back down to 143, so... It's pretty... Should probably have a 
some sort of valve that controls the flow rate a little more precisely for this application. It's not, uh, so this is where I got it at now. I should, uh, So, probably hook this up with a better valve to where I can get a more pre precise flow rate. Um, it seems to be possible, but the flow rate is uh, minimal, to say the least. It might be enough for sparging. I need to uh, figure out how many quarts per minute I'm getting here. So, we'll have to set it back up another time and give it another test.